All right, Space Geeks, major historic announcement by NASA just a short time ago confirming the Voyager spacecraft. Voyager, as in the thing that launched way back in 1977, exploring the moons, exploring the planets. Well, it has entered interstellar space, a.k.a. it's out of the solar system. I want to go straight to fellow Space Geek, um, John Zarella in Miami. Uh, so, John, this thing went up back in the 70s. They thought it'd be up on a mission for five years, and here we are more than three decades later. What's it doing? Yeah, you know, 36 years in space, 12 billion miles traveled, and Voyager is now literally traveling between the stars. You know, there was this great debate for about a year or so. Had Voyager left the solar system? Was it still in there? Well, NASA finally got enough data together, and it's still sending back signals that they finally were able to say today that, yes, indeed, Voyager has left the solar system a year ago, last August, it entered interstellar space, and it is going to reach the nearest star to where it is now uh, on its current path in 40,000 years. Wow. Wow. And then, and then you have this guy, project scientist Ed Stone. He talked at this you know, mega press conference from NASA. Tell me his story. Yeah. Great story. Ed Stone has been the chief project scientist since before Voyager lifted off. 40 years ago. So at the press conference today, you could tell he was really like a very proud papa. This historic step is even more exciting because it marks the beginning of a new era of exploration for Voyager, the exploration of the, of the space between the stars. You know, I think uh, one of the things to point out, Brooke, is just how simplistic this spacecraft is. You got your iPhone with yeah. you? There's your iPhone. The iPhone has 240,000 times more memory than Voyager, but it's still going. 